Hello and welcome to a cup of conversation on BRT2 TV. My name is Jan Ghazi, I'm your host for the programme, and this week on the show we have two very special guests, father and daughter team, Arda and Ada Baikurt, and we'll be talking about music and also a very special music video clip presented by some of the kids at the English School of Kyrenia. So let's have a relaxing show once again here on BRT TV. First of all, Arda and Ada, welcome to the show. Thanks. Now, let's speak with the father first. Arda, welcome to a cup of conversation on BRT television. Now, Arda, where are you from originally? I'm from Ankara originally, Turkey, the capital city of Turkey, Ankara. I was born in there. You were born in Ankara? Yes. And before you came to North Cyprus, I hear that you lived in Malta, is yeah. that right? Yeah, that's right, yes. So, how old were you? When, when did you leave uh, Ankara for Malta? Uh, actually, we... I lived from Ankara 2001 to Istanbul for music purposes and uh, was running a studio and playing around in Istanbul and 2007 we decided to move to Malta. So we stayed there like six, six years, six and a half years and 2013 we moved down to Tehran Sea. Yeah. And here you are in North Cyprus as well? Yeah. And uh, your daughter was born in Malta, is that yes, right? Yes, that's right. And that's why you called her Ada? Yes. Actually, she was, she was, uh, my wife was pregnant when we moved down. She was six, six months pregnant. Mm. And we knew, we thought uh, in, in, yeah, it was in Istanbul. They told that it's going to be a boy. So, okay, good. Then we went there and we made the scan. It's a girl. Oh, <laughs> it was surprising for us. And here you have a lovely daughter now, yeah. uh, Ada is here, her name means island and of course a great name for this island as well, for yeah. Cyprus, yeah. very a good of, name. A lot of other names we noticed here, yeah, but she was only one in Malta. But, not but special, a very nice special name. Hello Ada, how are you? I'm fine. How old are you Ada? I'm nine. You're nine years old and what school do you go to? What's the name of your school? The English School of Kyrene. Okay, very nice. We'll talk more uh, with you a bit later on. So, Arda, uh, you are a musician. Yes. That's right, yes. I know that you are a drummer. Where did that, uh, how did that happen? Were you always interested in jum drums? Were you taking lessons? Well, it's always, it's like a routine story everyone tells, but that's what my, my mom tells me. When I was three, I was uh, knocking the doors with a rhythm. And uh, uh, when I was like, 12 years old, I started piano lessons, and then uh, my I was a bit of a hyperactive, energetic child, like uh, playing football, uh, and then I decided to play drums because it, I felt it's like a part of my, part of me. I can give my energy, and then the first band was when I was 13 years old was Dead Mosh, a trash metal band uh, which was set in Ankara. And we played. Uh, we were playing Slayer covers by then, mm -hmm. and that's how I got, get into music. And I engaged, and then I loved it so much. And I start improving myself in drumming. Uh, I'm a self-taught drummer, but uh, spent a lot of time for that, practicing, searching. Amazing. And so you got into this type of music, I mean, when I say this type, you have a great range of music styles, yes. because not only uh, Slayer or yeah. Thrash Metal, yep. you know, you, you like fusion, funk, uh, all types of music. Yes. But is that how you started? You don't, you don't look like a rocker or a, a Thrash Metalist, you don't look very yeah. uh, dark. <laughs> yes, actually, I love all kind of music, yeah. and I love to drum and anything, because uh, I, I don't see, okay, some talents has got specific, specific uh, drumming or specific piano on one genre, but I like all kind of music. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was the profession, because when I was in Ankara, th there's a job comes and Turkish pop star, like go take the CD and you take the nose and CD and just go and play. And then uh, obviously when you're young, you want to be good, you practice. And I was, I, I want to play jazz because it's more drums inside that. And I don't want to play rock and blues because there was not much drums in. In that time, I was feeling like it's the right way. But when I grew older, and I passed 40 now, then I think, OK, maybe I love rock as well, because then you digest the music, and then you can decide better. You say, OK, now I can play rock, I can play jazz, as rock, like jazz, you know? Yeah. And I love all kind of music. And I know at the moment that you are 
playing every Wednesday night at Seoul East yes. in Asanjak. And I met uh, Ape Cengiz. He's yes. also been a guest on my program, a very, very talented good. guy. Yes. Uh, he's from Istanbul yes. and living here now with his family. And I know that uh, you've been part of some groups, haven't you? So you, you've you know, even, were you a, group, a part of a group in Malta as well? Were you performing in Malta? Yes, I did I did my own band in Malta and we had the Latin group Este Mundo, like to be were playing Gypsy Kings covers. And there was a famous band Scar in Malta. We were in Eurovision finals in Malta in oh. 2012, yes. And uh, uh, done lots of, lots of work about music there as well. And I'm producing, uh, I have a music production company as well. I'm producing now uh, the Maltese band Cushion, and the album will be launched in October in Malta. So even though you live here, do you still have contacts yes. with Malta? Yes. You still have links there. Yes. Uh, why Malta? Out of interest, because you know, from t from Turkey, you could have come to Cyprus straight away. Uh, was because Malta gave you the opportunity to perform, give you. I know you wanted to support your your family. Yes, the uh, expanding family. Yes, and it was like. Uh, music business was not that good in in early early 2000s that yeah. I, how I felt I was looking the people 10 years older than me and I said okay if I go like that maybe it can be stuck so I have to do something else but I'm an economist as well I, I graduated economics in university so I said okay there was an opportunity there uh, about uh, risk management bookmaking in the in a betting company and betting industry so I just say okay I'll go there and make music as a hobby because it's always with me. So I decided and we moved down there in 2007. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Malta was compact and small, it's a lovely place but very small. And uh, you know we would like to have more family support so we had another opportunity in North Cyprus. So we decided to move to North Cyprus and hopefully we are thinking to settle here. And we like them here. It's it's close to Turkey, mm -hmm. and it's uh, also there's a lot of different nations here. The weather is nice, nice, yeah. nice country. So, why not to stay here? Why not stay here? Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we are lucky to have you here. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Ada, you, do you like your school? Are you enjoying the English School of Kyrenia? Yes, I'm enjoying. What's your favorite subject? Music, <laughs> or do you like English? Do you like maths? What do you like? Maths and art. Oh, very good. So, do you speak, you obviously at home you speak Turkish with your mother and father. You know English. Do you, do you know Maltese? Do you remember any of that language or not? No. Not really. So, English and Turkish? Yes. Do you remember Malta? Can you remember back there when you were living in Malta? Yes. You remember it? Very good. What do you remember? Do you remember uh, playing with friends or do you remember where you were living? What do you remember of Malta? We were living at the ocean side and every day we were going to the beach. Hmm. Uh, nice, nice. And are you happy here now? You, you like being at uh, ESK in Girne? Yes. Very nice. I love. You're a very pretty, beautiful girl. And I know that Ada, I've had the pleasure of hearing Ada play the piano. You're a very good pianist, well done. Do you enjoy the piano? Yes. How long have you been playing the piano? Four years. Four years? Since you were five? Four or five years old? Yes. Yeah, wow. Very good. And I hear that you, you've you done grade three, up to grade three. Is that right? F three. Yeah. And next year, I will be at four or five. Very good. I'm sure you're doing very, very well. I think you were fantastic when you were playing in our studios earlier on. and. I know that you also sing, don't you? Yes. We're going to hear you singing in a little bit, but not now. But uh, let me come back to uh, Arda. Now, Arda, uh, you, you make your own music. Yes. Not only do you perform with the band, but you also have your own songs. Yes. And I know recently, uh, and one of the reasons why you're here today is because you are doing um, a special project with the English School of Kyrenia where Arda goes. And People Going Crazy is the name of a song that you are making clip to and can you tell us a bit about this project then please yes sure it was four years ago i wrote this song uh, people going crazy it's kind of a uh, mm, new popular sounds it's disco sounds and i just was thinking uh, the song sounds nice to me like it's different genre it's no drums i mean everything is digital electronic so i said okay this song has a potential and uh, i wrote the lyrics uh, just to 
pop out the digital life that everyone has got. I'm, I'm surprised why don't we have mobiles and like this, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So everyone is with the mobiles, even if you go a romantic dinner with your wife or something, you know, after two minutes like that. So I wanted to point this out. So I said, okay, people are going crazy. Everyone has got phones. So I, I take that, uh, that idea and I wrote the lyrics on that. Then after this, the song was sounding good and I don't like the song. I was like, okay, I don't want to sing. So she sang the song and it sounded really good. And uh, uh, I was thinking to put it out uh, to the digital platform and to publish it uh, globally. Mm -hmm. Then we keep in touch. Uh, I know uh, Andrew Redford, Andrew Redford, mm -hmm. and he's a he's a good producer and a film producer. And I said, can we make a music video professional? And I explained him the idea, and he, he really liked it. And we came together, start making brainstorming. Then we had this idea to take it to ESK English School because it's also good for kids uh, to be uh, to be aware that they shouldn't use the phones. Yeah that often so we went to the school and thanks that they, they they were interested as well and they said it's, in, it's interesting and the song is also good so we said okay and uh, we started the project uh, with the school they they uh, let us to use their platform their uh, gym hall for for three days we put a massive set there Andrew Leo and uh, Ben and Alfie, the choreographers, they did a great job there and uh, lots of families supported us. I think, if I'm not mistaken, 25 or 30 children was in the video. Mm -hmm. Now we are on the stage to, uh, to edit the video, but we are having hard times because we come together and say, okay, there's only 10, 10 guys in, but they were like 25 uh, children and their parents was waiting like 10 hours there. So they will ask Obviously. Where, where is the child? Yes, where is the child? So we don't know what to do now, you know? <laughs> it's very difficult. Yes. Uh, but that's why it's a bit, we are delaying it all the time and we have pressure. Everyone is asking when is the video coming, when is the video coming? But soon, soon it will be out, I would like to say. We will sort out somehow to, to be able to show all the kids in. We're going to show the clip in a minute, uh, the trailer to the video. But before yeah. we do do that, I want to ask you, did you aim this song for the kids? When you thought of people going crazy, was it for everyone, adults and children, or are you trying to aim for the youngsters who are no, on it, the mobile phones, no. on the tablets? What was, it, what was your aim? We, we didn't aim for the children. I, I was thinking for all, all the world. The whole world. Mm, but the intention to use the children was, because I let Ada to sing, because uh, children, if you make something for children, then it's more, more vivid, more on the eye, if mm -hmm. you make it. If you make it for um, for someone which is which is an adult, then yeah. it won't work like that. So I thought it, it, it will make sense if we make it to to children. So that's how the idea came up, because all parents are following their children. Yeah. yeah. And of course, it's good to get the children involved. Yes. So they get the message exactly. as well. Catch them while they're young, so when they grow up, they know the the, the dangers of overusing yes. technology too much. So uh, in this clip the video clip that you are still making at the moment, we have other, other singing with other children as well, dancing. I've seen the trailer, we're going to see the trailer for the clip now, and is it all filmed at the school? It's like a, you know, you're in a prison, in a dungeon type thing. Yeah. Was it all located at the school? The, the yeah, Andrew made a really great set, he's a, he's a creative. Yeah. He made a set that, uh, that it feels like it's like uh, in a dungeon or like in, in a prison, yeah. but we have still two, two more shots. We will use a beach scene. And basically, it was in school, but the, the set was changed many times. You know, mm -hmm. the decoration, the lights, and everything changed. So we tried to give it uh, ambience that we use in um, different spaces. Okay, then. So let's now quickly watch this short uh, trailer for the clip that's going to come out soon for people going crazy, which is written uh, by. Arda Baikurt and, and also stars his daughter singing Ada Baikurt and we're back with the guys right after this very short clip, don't go away.
a fantastic trailer to a music video clip that will be coming out soon. People Going Crazy, written by Arda Baikurd and also starring his daughter singing, in the, singing and dancing in the clip, Arda Baikurd. And I'm very happy to have the guys here on the programme today on A Couple Conversation. Fantastic, it looks very, very good. I'm looking forward to seeing the whole clip. Well done, uh, Arda, for producing such a good quality looking clip already. I, you know, you got me interested in, in this. And uh, I want to ask you, did you have fun when you were filming at school with your friends? Was it good? Were, were, were they your friends in the clip? Are they your school friends? You're in the same um, class or were they different people? Not just your friends, but other people from the school? All of them was, they were my friends, but <laughs> some of them, I was not the same class. Yeah. But wasn't it fun for you? What, what a great looking video. You were dancing. Do you like to dance as well? Yes. Very good. You did very well. You look very good, like a star. You look like a star. Who is your favourite singer? Do you like Katy Perry or Megan Trainor, or do you like Beyonce? Do you like Jennifer Lopez? Who do you like? All of them. Yes. <laughs> I bet you do. You look like them. You look like a very uh, beautiful Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, we couldn't hear the song there. But I would like for you now to give us a bit of a, a taste of the song. So if you can help, you, before we had a practice, didn't we? And, and you were doing the beat for yeah. Ada. Would you like to sing for us a little bit of the song? So this is Ada with her father, Arda, performing a little bit of People Going Crazy. So take it away, go on. One, two, three, four. People going crazy. People going crazy. People going crazy. People going crazy. People online all the time, everybody lost in time. When I wanna talk to someone, no one's here anytime. If there is a Wi Fi, people turn to maniac. Self by, like me, Skype me, WhatsApp, Facebook, FaceTime, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram. Is there anyone? Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. That was very, very good. And we had no rehearsal for that. Uh, I sprung this on other literally minutes before the interview started. Very, very good. All the social media is there. All the you know, WhatsApp, Instagram, yes. FaceTime. Yeah. We use it too much. We use it too much. Do you, do you use all those things? Are you on the phone or the tablet or not? Do you like it? Sometimes. Sometimes. Not too much, huh? After your homework, yes? Yes. <laughs> So, um, Arthur, you have a great song now, which is a very important song, uh, a great message. You are now in post-production, you are making the clip, trying to make every parent happy by having their child in the clip. Well, I've done the song, it's uh, all written, everything's done, but I really had a great support from ESK, from, from everybody, from the parents, so I would like to thank to everybody who's mm -hmm. helping in this great program here, you yourself, so because we need that support to be able to mm, push the song uh, as, m as many people as we can. Funny enough, when you think about it, when you release this song, it'll probably be on social media, yeah. which is what you're talking about. So in a way, we need social media, but then again, we don't want to use it too much. But do you have um, any idea about when the full clip will be available to watch? Or you have no, you don't want to give any time yet, just in case? I, I don't want to give, because if I would say it two weeks time, because we, we have to discuss with Andy, mm -hmm. like I said, we, we are trying to make all the parents happy, but at the same time, we are trying to aim for a professional video. Yes. So uh, I would say not more than maybe one month or so. That's how we aim. And also uh, the song will be mastered again. And the song, actually, if someone, if anyone wants to hear the song, it will be first time in Barak International Radio with Dennis this Saturday at three o'clock in Turkish time, inside North Cyprus time. So it will be a rough mix. It, it's not the mastered version, but at least people can have uh, how the song uh, sounds. Yeah, so definitely listen to Barak International Radio. We'll be playing it, uh, if you give permission for us, then we'll yeah. play it on yeah. our station as well, yes. to give everyone an idea about the, the song before the clip comes out. But, you know, from what I see, and I know that Andy is very professional, yeah. he's done many, many music, music video clips for groups like Westlife. I know Denise Phillips, our uh, presenter on the radio who interviewed you for the main event, she uh, saw Andy uh, pro uh, filming for the video for Westlife years ago. So I know that he's very good, yeah. very professional, yeah. and so we're looking forward to the finished yes. product. 
it's not easy to work with children. They say don't work with children or animals. It must well, they, they did a good job. Really? I mean, it, was, it was very professionally organized. And uh, we spent, I think, two full days, but it was two weeks uh, rehearsals for dancers and every, everyone. But it was really good, yeah. The, they, they, I think this generation, maybe this helps them. <laughs> they, are, mm, they act like more and more grew up people. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, she's nine, going on 19 maybe. Yeah. I mean, the way she was playing the piano earlier on in this radio studio, yeah. and now she was singing, it's not easy, but you did very, very well. Other, I think you were fantastic, and she's got a great future ahead of her. So I wish her all the best, wish you all the best. So um, you are playing now every Wednesday yes with with a group yeah with, with Alper the soloist owner Alper Genghis is mm -hmm. an old friend of mine we used to play like 25 years ago in Ankara so when he moved down here we said okay let's make a band so he, he there's a house band there which he, he leads the band so yes. I play with them every every Wednesday there so with the Soul East band there at uh, the Soul East in yes. Al yes so you are the drummer yes do you sing yourself? No. You don't? No. I have a terrible voice. <laughs> no, don't I don't believe hear. that. <laughs> Shh, not really. Don't say that. Don't say that. I just, but, yeah, I just try some rap with it. That's it. A bit of rap. Because I know that you had a song that you wrote for your mother, yes. Sema, yes. and uh, your, your wife, Nalan, yes. uh, is she singing as well? Yes, on that she, song? she's singing, yeah. So she, she's a singer? She, she, sing, she sang all the album. Right. So, yeah, she, she has 25 songs as well. So Ada takes after her mother when it comes to singing, yes? Yes, I think so, yes. <laughs> and when she plays the piano, she takes after her father yeah. musically. Yeah. But uh, so it's a nice musical family. Yeah. And uh, you are there, as we said, on a Wednesday. Are you happy uh, to still be performing? Do you enjoy being on stage and performing yourself? Yes, because this is, uh, once you do it professionally, mm, after some time you don't enjoy it anymore because uh, that's how I started. I was so nervous. I was playing this, that, all pop stars and concerts, TV shows, etc. And then it comes to a level that you don't enjoy it anymore because it's like, oh, again, you, you're flying from Istanbul to Antalya and no sleep there, so from there to Trabzon and come back all around, you know. And it, you don't enjoy music anymore. Okay, you're earning something, but then if you make it for only for yourself, that the music that you love, then the sound is better you enjoy more and people enjoy more so I, I like it yes it's not easy when you have a family as well you know very unsociable hours yeah. to be performing during the uh, week at night or weekend at night you know but obviously in North Cyprus because it's such a small country uh, yes. it's such a small yeah. place lovely yeah. place everyone knows each other it's a nice uh, atmosphere yes it's very small and it's it's um, it's nice to have uh, family it's, it's safe you know so I can just go two, three hours, play my gig and come back. Mm -hmm. When school finished, I, I, will, I want to take Ada as well, because when, she, when Ada was like four or five years old, I was gigging in Malta a lot, these festivals. She was always coming with me and sitting near the drum set. And I never, never forced her to play any instrument. I, I never tell her to play piano or drums. I was playing and she says, oh, can I, of course, take, take the sticks and then She's, uh, she like because uh, I always think if you force your child to do something, um, she or he might not like it, and it can go vice versa. So yeah. So other, you play the drums and the piano. Which one do you like the most, piano. drums or piano? Both. Piano. Oh, very. She she could be a politician. Yeah. <laughs> she likes everyone. She likes everything. Uh, you're a very clever girl. But, you know, they're very different, aren't they? I mean, you know, it's not the same to play the piano and then to play the drums. Yes. Because you always think of drums, I know this is sounding very sexist, but normally boys like the drums yeah. and the girls like the piano. Yes. But for a girl to like the piano and the drums is a very good thing. Yes. So Actually, the drums is the rhythm, the heart of the music, so everyone should know the beat. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. You know. The drums, everyone has to have an idea how the drums. And when it comes to the instrument itself, then everyone says, oh, okay, drumming is very easy because you just take the sticks, go there, but it's not like that. You take the sticks, you sit on a drum set, then you, you're stuck. Okay, it's not that easy. Let's we go, like ding, ding, ding. Okay, there's the harmony in the piano. Okay, if you make a mistake immediately, they say it's, it's difficult, drums is easy, but it's not. Because if you make like, then it's... Yeah, it's not, it looks easy. Yeah. But also, it's very uh, you know difficult to learn to get to be professional. Yes. Do you have any singing lessons at school? Have you sung? I mean, this this clip that you are singing in, Ada, it's a very big thing, isn't it? Not everyone can sing in a clip. 
Is this the first time that you've sung professionally like this? Have yes. you sung before? Um, at school, we would have a show, mm -hmm. and I sing that uh, solo bit. Really? Yes. Wow. Were you nervous? Little bit? Little bit. Little bit. But very good. Uh, you know, when you have a musical family, as you said, when you were, when she was younger, you were in uh, Malta, you were doing a work, she was with you, she saw, she grew up with music. Yes. Do you hope for Ada to have a musical future as well? Uh, I hope, first of all, I hope Ada to be happy. I don't want her to be, I don't, this, this project is a bit risky. Yeah. That's why I take it to my name mm -hmm. and because I don't want to push Ada, she'll be a star, it's very good. I just have to protect because first of all, I'm a father. So I have to protect my child. I said, okay, I, as long as she's happy, she can be a musician, it's okay. But I don't want her to just go on front, be a musician, be popular. I will not do that. First, I want uh, her to be happy, that's it. Because of course, every father wants that yes. for their child. Yes. I want to ask you, Arda, because you know, you, you've been in Turkey, you, you've been to Malta, and here you are in North Cyprus. Obviously, each country is different. But when you look at the quality of music, in the, in the countries, are you happy with, for instance, the music that Ada is learning at school or the level of the quality of the music being produced at all the bars and restaurants here? I mean, you know, it's not easy to, to get the quality that you want. Are you happy with the quality that you found, you know, with the, with the, with the clip that you're doing with Ada singing, her friends dancing? Um, you could have written this and done this um, clip in Turkey, couldn't you, if you wanted to? It's a very, very good point, a uh, very n good question, actually. Uh, what I believe is music is always in, in you, but uh, everyone is uh, following what, uh, well, what the crowd does, like the, the culture does. So, uh, well, I can say, say that North Cyprus is engaged with Turkey. So here is very similar to Turkey, and Malta is different they had it, first of all it's very very small scene but I've been in Europe in various countries as well and I've seen I can compare mm -hmm. uh, the only thing that's missing here is the, the discipline uh, not enough rehearsals not so serious about music very talented musicians in Turkey as well but it's not like uh, they don't pay attention and they don't give all their energy what they're doing. Uh, if they would have a bit respect what they do and to the audience, so if they practice a bit more, use better instruments, come uh, start the, the right time, finish the right time, I think musically it would be much more developed and there has to be a community I'm hearing from musician friends uh, about about the budgets of the of the places that that they play. Uh, I would also want to tell the owners that they they might pay a bit a bit more because music, musicians' life is difficult. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not just going there and playing. You, you got your uh, rent to pay. You got your benzene to put in your car. Yeah, and you got your equipment to be taken care. Of. And then you got a small amount of money in, to make everyone happy there. So I think it's, it works, maybe it works both ways. Because in Europe, I, I know that people are getting paid better. Maybe that's why they're more focused and more motivated and practicing. I think because it's such a small country and people don't maybe take it as seriously as other countries do. You know, music is very big yes. around the world. It's a very uh, difficult industry to work in because there are so many people who want to make it big or to make money out of uh, music and as you say here you know people don't take it seriously the, not enough credit is given to the performers like yourself you know you're you're, you're part of a band you know, everyone's got to be paid everyone's got to to carry their equipment back and forth to the venue it's not easy uh, but maybe if, if people take it more seriously here but you are helping to make it more serious you are teaching the children at least yes um, yes. our, um, actually in Solis as well, our, our aim is to make quality music there. If people come, they are, they are hearing a quality music. We, we, we are trying to do our best because we don't want to just make music, okay, have fun and just go home. And especially you, you, what you point out is very important. To, they, it starts with, uh, with, uh, with the kids. Yeah. If we can make the next generation better, so they will make their children better. Of course. 
who knows what's in store for the future? Better, better uh, more talented youngsters coming up into the, uh, you know, to the scene and becoming famous internationally. Yeah. Why not? I mean, what does it stop us having a, a world superstar here? Yeah, yeah, hopefully, yes. <laughs> who knows? Maybe one of them is ESK. Yeah. <laughs> right at this very moment. Um, Anna, I also want to ask you, uh, you know, as a musician, do you ever think about teaching? Uh, you know, you, you have links with the school. Would you like to teach uh, music? Actually, I started teaching here in the nearest university. I did it for one, one, one year. Yeah. But I didn't, uh, I, I didn't have time because of my other, other business projects. And uh, but now, uh, in September, I'm thinking to make a, uh, make a class yeah. uh, for children. Two projects. One is workshop children come together, even adults come together. I want to make them a rhythm, r rhythm workshops. Right. Uh, like any, anyone who loves rhythm come together, have a n nice society, like a social club. That sounds good. Yes, I started it in, in two years ago in Nicosia, uh, in, in Naji Talat yeah. but, uh, but I didn't have time, so I had to stop. But uh, from in September, I will start it again seriously, uh, start teaching children. And the second is to have five or six talented guys to teach on the drums to take them to a certain level. Excellent. You perform obviously with your friends and you have your own band and you, you, know, you play original music or covers. You are also a music writer. What inspires you? Okay, we know the, the inspiration behind people going crazy, but do you think now living in North Cyprus, such a beautiful country, are you inspired? Yes. Do you have more music to write? Yes, I, I think I wrote two songs now mm, I'm I'm planning for my next album which I, I will start in October after we launch this caution album yeah. uh, I will make it a bit uh, Mediterranean flamenco style mm. yes uh, all the breeze of Mediterranean uh, food people uh, Malta and Cyprus just yeah. it's enough experience I had so I want to just get them together and uh, try to put them into my music so you're always thinking of new music yes. to, to write and to perform. Yes. But who knows, maybe an album of your whole family, yeah. the three of you coming together. Hopefully, performing. yeah, that, that we, we were speaking actually with Ada and uh, her mother. We were saying, okay, let's make a, let's make a, a band together. She plays yeah. piano, mother sings, and I play the drums and write, uh, write the song. Uh, I think hopefully we can do that, yes. Why not? Would you like that, Ada, one day to, to perform with your mother and father in a group? Yes. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? Lucky girl that you would be. <laughs> so you'll be the band leader, no? You could be the leader. <laughs> Are your friends excited about being in the in the video clip, in the movie clip? Yes, they are always asking it. Yeah, I bet you can't wait to see the final thing. Have you seen it? Have you got, have you had a, a preview? Have you seen it yet or not yet? The clip, the final thing. Uh, I bet you're going to be uh, happy to see that. There'll probably be a presentation at school for you to, to show everyone. Yeah. Um, before we end this interview, uh, it's been a very interesting time, Arda and Ada, to have you here on the program. It's a pleasure to be here. How can we find here. out more? I mean, do you have any music online? Do you have any albums that we can listen to? Yeah. Any music? Uh, I, have, I have the album that uh, we done with my wife, Skin Vibrations, 2012. Mm -hmm. It's available on iTunes, Spotify, all uh, uh, in all social uh, platforms. Uh, people can easily listen from there, and uh, they can follow from uh, from my own Facebook page, Arda Bikert, mm -hmm. and ArdaBikert.com, uh, the, the official websites. And the second album is going to come, but I also will have uh, short uh, singles coming. Like I have this project this of Cushion Maltese band. Mm -hmm. It will be published in October, and uh, after people going crazy, maybe another single. So we are producing. I'm 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 always with music, so trying my best when I find time. Yeah, very busy, very busy man. Yes. But I have to say that you know you've done a great job with. Um, you know, it's not easy. People think it's, you make it sound easy. You know, oh, I write the music. We've made the clip, we're now producing it, but it's a long, long time. I mean, when did you first start this project? Four years ago. Four years ago? Yeah, it's people a long... Yes, the, the, <laughs> I wrote the song four years ago, but the, the project initially, one, it says, okay, let's go, it, it, was, it was three months ago. 
three, right. three months ago. We just say, okay, we start writing the storyboard, to come together, brainstorming, and plan everything mm -hmm. in order. But it was fast because ESK helped us a lot, and uh, other we have other uh, sponsors uh, like Magic Touch. We have the posters for all the clip, and yeah. we have got Prova Music to have the lights system. That can uh, when you find the right sources, then it's it's coming easier. When you cannot find them, then it it might take more than that. And, and do you think once the clip is finished, you will put that on social media as well? Yes. It'll be available yes. to everyone. Yes. And if it's successful, who knows? Maybe a, a single released uh, internationally, maybe. Actually, the intention is this because now I am I am I have a partnership with the with the the production company in New York, so I will put the song with this company officially uh, in all internet and social media first the song will come out and then the video clip will follow that under the company link so it will be officially uh, on the internet and then we will see how it goes because I'm not good at PR this kind of things I have to find the help for that thing. yeah, yeah. You, you need to become a manager you need somebody to do all yeah. the advertising and yes. promotional work for you yes hopefully someone will find if, if I, I believe the projects and then we will have something. Well, from what I've seen from the uh, actual trailer to the clip, I think it looks fantastic. Thank you. And from that little bit of the clip that we heard from other singing, it sounds very good as well. Yeah. I'm waiting, um, I'm really waiting excitedly for the whole song. Other, when you um, grow up, do you, want to be a, do you want to be a singer or a musician, like your mother and father? Musician. Yeah? Yes. Which one do you like more, singing, piano or drums? <laughs> She's thinking Pretty all of them. them. All of them. Well, I think you're going to have a great career ahead of you. Good luck. You're nearly finishing school now, aren't you? Nearly finished the school. You're going to have summer holidays with your friends, yes? Yes. Well, good luck with school, what's left of it, and have a great holiday as well. Thank you for coming today. Okay, thank you for singing for us as well. And uh, Arda, thank you for coming to the program. It's a pleasure, Jenga. Good luck with the final production. Thanks. And please uh, keep us informed, share it with us. Of course, I will do that, yes. And uh, I look forward to, to watching it again. It sounds great. Uh, you're doing a great job here, and I wish you a great time here in North Cyprus. Are you happy here yes. in North Cyprus? Yes, we have already settled, I can say. I don't want to travel more than that. <laughs> so this is home now? Yes. <laughs> and is that, is that true, Mum? Yes, Mum says yes, it's home as well. And <laughs> uh, Nalan is out, out there watching as well. But thank you once again. Give my regards to Andy and to everyone at ESK, the English School of Kyrenia. I'll do and that. Uh, hopefully, uh, say, uh, well, I'll see you maybe one day at Seoul East if I'll come. I know that I should come. You're more than welcome anyway on Wednesday. Yeah. I've interviewed uh, Arpeh Jengiz, who owns the place. I've interviewed Roland Eirich, who is our DJ for Rock and Blues show on Bike National. A bit my regards to Roland as well, he introduced us. Yes, 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 Roland, he's a great guy, yes. He's a very good yeah, guy. Yeah. So one day I will come, I promise, on a Wednesday night to see you drum. You're more than welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. And with that, we've come to the end of this week's A Couple Conversation with Arda and other Bikers father and daughter team. And good luck to everyone involved with the People Going Crazy uh, clip. It sounds like a great song, looks like a great video clip. Look out for it on social media. Until the next time we meet, here in the studios of BRTK in Nefkosha, have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.